in this video, I will talk about getting started with Python for topological data analysis. I choose to talk about Python for TDA because Python has powerful TDA libraries, such as Ripster and Giotto TDA, which can be used to compute things like persistence diagrams. Python in particular is good for working with large data sets and machine learning techniques that are useful in applied topology. Python is free. And lastly, since many other people use Python, troubleshooting and collaboration is easier with Python. I'll go over three steps today. The first is to download Python. The second is to download Anaconda, which is a package manager for Python. And the third is to install Jupyter Notebook. There are many ways to get started using Python, but I think this way is simple and good for the purpose of doing TDA in Python. Before we get started with downloading Python, we need to get familiar with our command line prompt. On Macs, you can find this in your Applications folder, Utilities, and Terminal. On Windows, if you go to the Start bar and type CMD, it's a program called Command Prompt. We're going to type Python 3 dash dash version. I'll have all these commands in the description and we'll see the most recent version of Python installed. If you do not have Python 3 installed, go to the Python website. There's a link in the description below and select download Python. Once Python has been downloaded, open up the package and go through the steps of installing. Once Python has been installed, we can close the window. Now we will install Anaconda, which is a package manager for Python. Anaconda is nice because it contains over 1,500 packages, many of which are applicable to TDA. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Graphical Installer. Once that has been downloaded, run the installer and install in the default location. Once Anaconda has been installed, we close the window and go back to our terminal. The last thing we're going to do today is install Jupyter Notebook. This is an editor where you type your Python code that you want to execute. To install Jupyter Notebook, we enter this command in our terminal window. Now, if you're like me and you're running Mac OS 10.15 Catalina or later, you'll get an error. This is due to the way that newer Mac operating systems install Anaconda. To fix this, type the command conda init zsh and hit enter. Then open a new window, paste the Jupyter Notebook install command again, and we'll see it'll start running. Once you see the prompt, yes or no, hit Y for yes and hit enter. Now Jupyter Notebook should be successfully installed. To access Jupyter Notebook, simply type Jupyter Notebook in your command prompt and hit enter. Oh, 
a window in your internet browser will open and you'll see your system's files displayed here. So now we'll create a folder on our system where we're going to put all of our Python projects. Then we'll navigate there using the browser and we see our folder is in desktop right where we expected it to be. We open the folder and we'll hit new Python 3. This is the window where you'll be typing all your Python code. To test that it's working correctly, let's just run a simple equation, 2 plus 2. Hit run to execute the code and you'll get 4. At this point, you've successfully installed Python, Anaconda, the package manager, and Jupyter Notebook, your editor, and you're ready to start programming in Python. I'll end the tutorial here. Thank you.